The fountain pen was invented in 1884. Until then, people wrote with quills or steel pens, which required repeated dipping in a bottle of ink. The fountain pen was revolutionary because it held its own ink in a built-in reservoir. Discriminating writers still consider the fountain pen the ultimate writing instrument. These high-end Italian-made fountain pens have a tubular middle called the barrel, which houses the ink reservoir. There are various types of mechanisms for filling the barrel. This one is called the filler pump. It works just like a syringe. You unscrew the end, which draws a piston upward, creating a vacuum that sucks up the ink. When you write, the ink flows through a speed regulating feeder to the nib of the pen. Nibs are made of stainless steel or in luxury pens like these, solid gold. To make the nib, rollers flatten a piece of gold. Then a press cuts out a starting shape with a stress relief hole to keep the nib from cracking when it flexes. Another press stamps the carat marking and company name, then bends the piece to its final shape. A worker cuts the ink pathway using a diamond cutting wheel thinner than a human hair. To fortify the nib's tip, this machine welds on a tiny glob of iridium, a durable metal in the platinum family. Workers grind the iridium tip to a precise size and shape. This is what dictates the thickness of the pen's line, from fine to broad, and the line style such as italic or oblique. Polishing is the final stop on the journey from plain piece of gold to ornate nib. The feeder that transfers ink from the reservoir to the nib is made from a cylindrical piece of ebonite, which they cut to a point. These blades carve grooves down the sides. When you write, these grooves fill with ink regulating the rate of the ink flow. One end of the feeder goes into a holder. The other end slips behind the nib. This machine pushes the nib into its final position, which technicians verify under a magnifier. Elsewhere in the factory, they produce the pen's external parts. Here, presses and metal drawing machinery shape sterling silver discs into pen caps. The cap protects the nib, of course, but it also provides decorative flair, often having guiloche, an intricate diamond cut engraving. The factory's computer-guided engraving equipment decorates this model with subtle stripes. A rolling engraver then applies the company's name. Every cap has a clip made of beryllium copper, a strong yet flexible metal which they plate in gold. The barrel and other parts for many models are made from plastic resin. An injection molding machine melts resin pellets into liquid, then shoots it into molds. When the resin solidifies, the machine ejects the molded parts ready for polishing. The pieces join to each other with metal connecting rings. The pen assembler carefully measures the placement of the resin piston within the barrel. Once the piston's inserted, the edge of the barrel gets a thin coat of sealant to prevent ink leaks. Then the assembler screws on the end piece, the same one you unscrew to draw off the piston and fill the pen. The finishing touch is to mount the nib. Finally, every pen goes through a specific set of writing tests to ensure its performance measures up to its stylish good looks.